Hey, how's it going? So I'm just out at a local pizza place, ordering a fungi pizza to celebrate this four-man Kyogre raid you're just about to see. So we finally did it. Kyogre did go away for a while and thankfully Niantic has this legendary Pokemon week where Kyogre, Rayquaza and Groudon are appearing once again. Well, Ray is hanging around until March 16th. Um, so that's pretty good. So we did get to do it with four trainers. Hair is a mess from the wind. It's quite cold out. I've got a bit of a Jedward hairstyle right now. Uh, so just waiting for the pizza now and then home. And we're going to talk about this four-man Kyogre raid with thunder. So let's have a look at that now.
Right, just in the door, we got some tasty red lemonade from local producer Contrast out in the care road. Very, very tasty, highly recommend it. And go with that, celebrate the best pizza in Ireland, Prego Pizza. Tasty, uh, just a small size pizza for six euro fifty. And it's a tasty fun guy. So we're gonna dig into that and then get back to the video. So let's scoff this down. Super pizza as usual Vito, thank you very much, can't go wrong with a fungi. So as you've seen earlier, we did manage to take down the Kyogre with three other trainers. We didn't actually get to do Kyogre um, the very first time it was around. Uh, we just weren't all around and available at the same time. Thankfully this time we had someone jump out of work on his lunch break and drive down. And we did actually manage to do it, I think it was about 15 minutes left on the raid. We had a few connection issues. We finally got in, probably very last minute um, that we could actually jump in. So we got in and we stayed in until the end. I went in with my executor, two Dragon Knights, Rayquaza, Matt Jump and 100% Espeon, uh, which was recommended by Pokey Battler. I wasn't 100% sure how close it would be. I thought going by my time would be fine to jump in with a secondary team. So that's what I did. Um, a couple of trainers did actually max revive some of the Pokemon. Probably would have been sensible, but in hindsight, I thought maybe my second team, because it was partly cloudy, that the golems would have been uh, weather boosted. So that I knew the recommended team would have been the um, golems because I'd seen them at the very start when I joined the lobby. So the second group of people were, if I click on them here, it was um, three golems, uh, pretty high level, uh, good attack. Our vile plume, which is uh, unbelievable, probably wasn't the best in this scenario but uh using them nonetheless we had another golem that we recently powered up as well i think we were powering up the golem to take on rayquaza and um, but we've since replaced him with jinx so he's uh, no longer required so a bit of a waste to start us there and uh meganium as well which has been quite a good grass type pokemon for us and then at the very end as you've seen i think we rejoined again with about 12 seconds to go with our Alakazam and our Rhydon. We just ended up using the Alakazam. Um, so he fired off a couple of quick moves and uh, thankfully we did take it down. Uh, I don't know if there one or zero seconds left, but we can say we have done it successfully. We have the uh, video footage and it was fantastic to do. And hopefully in the coming days, we might get to duo the Rayquaza and see how well we do. Um, it's pretty now with the raid bosses that it could either be Groudon uh, Rayquaza or a Kyogre so it's, um, it's difficult to know and especially if the weather is on your side if it was windy weather it would have been great to get to Rayquaza but hey we'll wait and see so thanks man for watching and uh, talk to you all soon